back then, like there was no platform to where I can go seek a mentor or uh, see someone and ask them for advice. I went to college for about six years. I knew in my head, I, I was like, what am I doing at, at this university, you know? I was you know, battling it out with my parents, battling out even my clients that I was training then. I was training lawyers, doctors, people in, in, in those career fields, and they were telling me like, Randall, you have to finish school. But in my head, I'm like, dude, I'm already doing what I'm doing, and I'm making a shit ton more money, you know, than I ever will. The way technology was moving and the way it was growing, there wasn't like a, f we were at that forefront, you know, so there was always a little bit of doubt in my head, but just the way I am, I was like, if I fail, I'll just, you know, backtrack and pick up later. Like the academic records and all that stuff, it will always be there, but this momentum that I have right now is just kind of like a once in a lifetime thing. I gotta ride this wave, if not, then I will never know, you know, so I was like, I couldn't live with that. So I just took the leap and dropped out of uh, college and went full on with uh, lifted apparel. I never met the person, it was Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, the, the, the rapper, I've uh, been listening to his music even way before I started the company. Um, and I took after the business model that he uh, uses, which was, you know, forget the middleman. So that's what I done, you know, I hated brokers, I've hated people, you know, giving me a connect and taking a chip of the commission. I was like, why, you know what I mean? I could just do this myself. I've always invested to companies and then I used to uh, play the stock. I just you know, wanted to diversify my income because you never want to rely on one um, source of income. You know, obviously I have lifted apparel, but there's other investments that I have to with other companies, mutual funds and stocks and things like that, but that aren't high risk. You know, I've always you know, diversified everything. You know, it's kind of a scary thought to just have one residual income. A good principle to live by is obviously be optimistic, you know, because you never, you really never know what's going to hit next, okay, especially when it comes to investing. So you got to be up to date with what's going on currently with technology in the market, on social media, you know, I think um, if you know what's up with, with that, you have a good head start. It's scary because entrepreneurs nowadays don't have like a 401k plan. There's no security in the future as far as if you stop working. You, your money stops coming in, right? So I don't think of the, the younger generations realizing that is because they think they're gonna be young forever or that social media is gonna be around forever, but that's not the case, you know, because things can change in 10 years, 20 years, you know, and they'll still be living, you know, so but what money are you gonna live off of? It's not just uh, investing into um, the other companies, it's just investing into properties and, and whatnot, you know, generating wealth, money that's coming in where you're not trading your uh, time for services, you know. I'm first generation of Cambodians that are here in the, in the States. You know, my mom fled here when she was about 15 years old, I think, and survived the genocide over there. So, you know, at being a Cambodian American here, like, there's a huge stereotype of us or either just gangbangers or um, really didn't do much with their lives, you know. First, I want to leave uh, a legacy showing that you can make it when you, you don't have nothing, you know, and being Cambodian, being a minority, breaking a stereotype, you know, that's just all in your head. Um, but then other than that, now I want to leave a legacy for everyone, especially, especially the youth that think that they're not going in the right direction because no one's supporting them. That was me when I was growing up. I didn't have no direction, you know. I didn't have, my parents weren't you know, they were supportive, but they weren't like, okay, yeah, this is the right thing to do. It was always school, school, school. But now I want to show the rest of the youth that school isn't the only route, um, that you got to start or try to start businesses and, and uh, you can own your own things. You can just, you know, live freely and use uh, the resources that you have and make an income and, and, and live a, a life that you like.